Well, I mean, this whole program, which I was saying to you earlier, I was planning to do it um, even for public, but I did postpone it a little bit. So maybe I will do something in February, but it's uh, called Relax and Recharge. I mean, it's not about relaxation in the traditional way. What people understand about relaxation, it's it's actually quite of a deeper aspect why you need to relax and uh, what actually this relaxation is for. Uh, because you see, everyone everyone wants to be and everyone wants to enjoy life, whether you are you know. A Christian or Muslim or Brahmin or Hindu or uh, whichever background you come from uh, the thing is people very few people <laughs> enjoy their life they enjoy some time uh, even even spiritual people you know will not have <clears throat> full enjoyment of life all the time and yeah. uh, and uh, you know, especially what's going on in the world, uh, you know, that shows everyone wants something and uh, the things what they want actually is not happening. And so, so this is a very, very deep, I mean, this is a, not even in one session to discuss, you know, in a couple of, you know, half an hour, this is more like a, lifelong um, practice <laughs> yeah it's a practice and you have to actually do something because uh, if you if we don't do anything then nothing changes you see if uh, most people uh, you know they, they expect something to happen in life they look for things around and uh, you know we travel we go on holidays we buy things and you know, no matter how much you do externally, uh, it, it only brings some change for a very short time. You know, you're looking for some partner, you know, husband, wife, you want a child or, you know, all, I mean, everyone has all kinds of ideas what they want in life. And, you know, sometimes we get something, but nothing of these things actually last. And we know this because uh, the whole thing what we are looking for is actually inside but the problem is why we are not experiencing the things what we really want and if it is inside why why we don't experience it so one of the basic things is that in this day and age no one is being taught how to accept life the way the life is and uh, everyone is teaching something different uh, everyone is uh, being taught to achieve something to strive for something to you know get good education uh, you know the ch parents will try to give the best they can to their children uh, so that they can you know earn good money and and have good husband good wife live in a good house have good car so everything is about achieving something but actually no one no one is teaching uh, how to accept things the way they are and that's where the biggest issue starts the biggest issue starts that we have so much rubbish inside so if you you know you you know um, uh, what are these animals the ones who eat um, eat trees you know they're near the rivers they they will uh, eat trees to get them fall in the river and then make make uh, blockages so that the river doesn't can't flow what what are they, the names in english <laughs> you, you must know What kind of animals? I don't. I didn't know that that they eat trees to make. No, they food they they don't eat block. the tree uh, for eating, but they uh, chew at the bottom until the trees fall, and then uh, they break so many trees fall that basically they create uh, so much like a 
a dam where the, the river can't flow. So something similar happens <clears throat> in our life uh, because everything is uh, energy. Energy is, uh, you know, we think uh, things are, you know, the body we have, you know, we think, you know, it's something physical. Nothing is really physical because uh, that Albert Einstein said that the M square is, you know, everything energy is matter, matter is energy. So everything is uh, everything is made out of energy so that uh, you know now it's not even uh, spiritual people who have to prove anything this is now lots of uh, science is behind this that uh, the whole universe is made out of energy and the mind the, the thought is the primary uh, you know force why this en universe is existing so so whatever is happening in life it's happening you know uh, even like if you think uh, your body you, you think you, you think it's your body I mean it has nothing to do with you you know uh, the body you have you only got it by accident if you know if if uh, you know some grand grandparents uh, thousand years ago uh, just one of them wouldn't have met uh, the other some kind of great great grandmother uh, you wouldn't be here you know it's it's like there are so many millions and billions of um, things why you are even in this body so you know we think oh this is me and this is my body uh, I mean how much do you really how much do we really you know have anything to do with this body how it functions Yes, we, we put in, you know, we eat all kinds of uh, things, you know, ice creams and chips and crisps, which might uh, compromise the body. And then the body has to deal with the things you put inside it. Uh, but otherwise, you know, uh, do you have any control over your heart? It just beats, you sleep, it beats, you know. Uh, do you have any control over your breathing? If you stopped breathing for, you know, a few minutes, you're gone. You know, so it's like you, you, you might say, oh, it's my body, but actually the body has life by itself. Just like the life everywhere around us and everywhere far away from us, it just has, it just has nothing to do with us, really. Really. I mean, OK, we do have some influence. Some, uh, that's why we are also discussing these things, because there is a lot of uh, the mind, how we perceive things and understand but actually, in a bigger picture, uh, nothing really has any uh, connection with me. So, so this is one of the biggest uh, secrets which uh, most people don't, and no one is teaching this. It's like, it's like people, as I say, they will teach you all kinds of things of law of attraction and try to do this, try to do that. Yes, you see, no one is really teaching these things. Uh, we are only taught how to achieve things, how to get something. And it's all to do with external things. No one is explaining the bigger picture of life. No one. I mean, how, mu how much do we think that actually I have nothing to do really with this body? How, how much do we think? We think this is my body. Uh, but actually the body has its own life. You know, I was, uh, when, when, you know, 10 years ago, I looked different. 20 years ago I look on some pictures uh, you know I was uh, 20 or 16 I look different but it was me I, I know that that's me but the body was completely different did I have any influence do I have any uh, you know okay people try to be eternally youth uh, you know to retain the same you can't you can't stop life from moving uh, and happening everything in this life and and actually the more you understand this bigger picture of life the more bliss you start experiencing this is this is the most deep aspect of this whole concept of uh, this uh, lots of uh, spiritual people especially in tibet uh, the monks uh, living in the, away from you know all these comforts uh, living in nearly you know in very very harsh conditions they really understood a lot of things 
and that's been for a long time. But the uh, general public is very ignorant, so ignorant that everyone is suffering. That's why Buddha uh, said that the, the whole life of human beings is, is just suffering. And suffering, not because uh, life is suffering, it's because we create the suffering. The life actually is uh, very wonderful. Life is so blissful, so wonderful, uh, but only if we let life to happen and let everything in life uh, evolve and take place the way it wants to take place. You can't change anything anyway. The, the whole thing is that we try to change things and uh, all this uh, trying to achieve things, change things, uh, uh, you know, manipulate uh, with life. That's all people try to do. And sometimes it, it works. Sometimes it, um, you know, some, some things happen. You, you, you get a good job. You, you plan some big salary and you, know, you get this big salary. But out of most of the things in life, uh, most things don't happen the way you you want them to happen most things it's, it's and that's why there is so much suffering there's so much suffering in in you know you you would think england the uk you know very nice uh, uh, you know wealthy country people want to come to this place they you know come on small boats you know they come from all over from africa from they they want to you know they try to get to this country thinking that, you know, this is, you know, and I thought the same. When I, when I uh, you know, left, I went to Australia. I was, uh, you know, I grew up in this uh, Soviet times when it was quite harsh conditions in, in those pla in the place I, I grew up. But then I went, to, I thought, wow, I go to Australia. That's the paradise on this planet. But it wasn't. When I got there, I saw it wasn't, it wasn't the paradise. Everyone had, you know, people had homes. They had... Uh, you know cars and you know it was like the abundance was there people had everything but i saw people well still they were the same uh, like uh, in, you know where i grew up people uh, quite serious and uh, you know they're not smiling but it's because of also the climate is like that not much sunshine now in australia there is so much sunshine abundance people have everything and yet i saw there was also suffering and people were also uh, you know, like miserable. And now, if you, uh, I don't know much details, but I have heard that, uh, like, depression is uh, like a pandemic. You know, uh, there is so much depression. Mental illness is something which is uh, beyond uh, what we can e even uh, comprehend. So again, why is it like that? Everything is, you know, around. Everything is there. You have, you know, people have everything, you know, they, they could have, you know, lots of money in their bank account, they, they have house and whatever, you know, still they're miserable and, and they have lots of depression, body illnesses and etc. I mean, obviously there are different things, uh, you know, people don't understand about uh, health and nutrition, uh, but I, I'm not talking about even these things. I'm just talking about general mental state of the mind of most people. Most people actually, it's, it's, it's like nearly 99% uh, of people struggle and suffer. So now, uh, this is why I just wanted to a little bit discuss and, and, and show. As I say, it's, it's a very, very big topic. It's, not, it's something you, you probably could discuss and discuss and discuss. Uh, but uh, at least whatever we can touch this time, this evening, we can uh, see what we can actually do and, and to see a slightly different perspective of uh, life. And that's that actually even just this different perspective on life already can make uh, my life very, very beautiful. And, and this relaxation is actually one of the deepest uh, tools for this. That's one of the practices which we need to learn if you really want to enjoy a blissful state of whatever is going on. And I, I will give you one, uh, one example. Now, let's say, let's say you are somewhere 
you've gone away uh, away from your home you have nice comfortable home you know with a fireplace waiting nice cup of tea you could make anything but you are somewhere away maybe uh, and, and, and you are in some event and you are struggling you have some you know uh, what you you know people have this um, uh, uh, ropes uh, uh, pulling ropes you know each one is pulling and you are pulling who is winning so now you are suffering because they pull you pull and you are struggling so hard <laughs> now and and but you know you have such a lovely home there is everything you know you could enjoy this evening but you are now this uh, you know tug of war <laughs> you know you're in this event so now what wh what uh, you have to do to stop that <laughs> you know there's only one thing you you stop you let the you you let the rope uh, you let the rope drop and you go home but, yeah. and, and then you can uh, light the fire have tea and enjoy life no, but most people will not do it. <laughs> they will hold on to this rope wherever they are. Uh, from morning till evening, there is something they're always trying to put things right. And that's why I'm saying this is like this tug of war where everyone is trying something to make life happen the way they think it should happen. But actually life is uh, just happening like, you know, can you do anything about your body? You know, you were maybe 10 years ago, you looked much uh, more beautiful. When you were a child, you were so cute and little, you know, little cheeks and red red nose. So it was really, you know, different, you know. But you can't. You, you Whatever is happening is happening. And, uh, you know, now I'm, you know, I just turned 53. Uh, I've got sometimes a little bit under eyes. You have some, uh, there's always something, you know, in, in life. You, still okay but if i look oh, oh when i was 20 or 30 oh i looked uh, you know like a model and now i'm <laughs> you know, looking much older but nothing you can do about it you can't you can't uh, you know uh, stop life happening what's happening and the more you really realize this that there is nothing wrong with being 53 there is nothing wrong with being 60 there is nothing wrong with being 80 you know it's nothing there's nothing wrong to die there's nothing wrong to take birth it's it's only what you think about all these things and it's a, every single thing from morning till evening is like this that there's nothing wrong with anything around me whatsoever nothing everything what's actually around me is exactly the way it should be and there is nothing wrong so the only th wrong thing is that you want to make the things around me wherever you are moving every day you're going to job in the tube bus uh, meeting uh, you know your friends and something sometimes is not going the way you feel how it should be and that's where you have the problem so now why actually we have these things because let's say you will have a, a certain experience of uh, discomfort with certain people in certain situations uh, I might not even have anything you know let's say some person meeting one people freaks out uh, some someone else opposite they enjoy that situation so why why we are you know having this uh, struggle of life this tug of war in different ways at, at different times and it comes back to this whole thing that we are not taught how to accept life and and the most this is the fundamentally deep aspect to understand that us as human beings we are the only ones which are able to it's like as if we have hands inside us which are able to stop events passing through events passed let's say you know some someone abused you when you were maybe 10 it happened you know some uh, maybe in school there was some bully uh, you know uh, some boy was a big bully 
and he really was going after you and he was bullying you and there was some public event and, and you were so badly bullied. But the thing is that event happened, you know, maybe 20 or 30 years ago. Now, why we still have that thing? It's not just a memory. It's like a blockage, which I was telling about these uh, uh, animals which chew on trees and, and, and they fall and block the flow of the river and it creates like a, uh, you know, what you call the mud uh, in the forests where it's, it's not any, anymore a river, but it becomes a, stagnant. Yeah, like a stagnant, stagnant. Uh, it can't move anywhere because yes, it's yeah. been blocked. Yeah, so, so that's what's happening is that when these events happened, first of all, no one is being taught how to deal with life. When we were growing up, we were just mm. left uh, by ourselves to deal with and, and, and we mostly we see how parents react to things. So we see they also react. So we, we all were like this. So anything happening to us, uh, especially unpleasant things, and there are so many of them. I tell you, there are billions and millions of things which happened in our life in the past, uh, which we did not let pass through. So we, as if we sort of held on to them and stored that stuff inside. So these are like blockages inside. And these blockages will haunt us all our life. So if, uh, let's say, someone you meet who is uh, slightly similar to that bully, you know, the, the one who was bullying you, maybe the name or the face, uh, something similar, something it reminds, you instantly don't want, any, even if you walk along the street and you see in a distance someone similar to that person, you will turn around and uh, cross the street. You don't want, and, and that person is a completely different person. Maybe it's in another country even. But because of these blockages, we cannot, because it, it hits, it's like the energy can't flow. We know that we have to avoid. So that's why life is, most of the life, we are trying to avoid all these things which will try to hit all these millions of uh, billions of blockages which we have inside. So that's why we try so hard to navigate life. And that's why life is just suffering. Life is a misery. Even if you live in a you know rich country, you might have lots of money. You might have everything on the planet you, you, you could desire. If you have a lot of these blockages inside, you will always be having some problems coming to you. And everything in, yeah, around like you... Mascara. Or yeah, you, you can call it some scar, but uh, we can the just stem that is in our subconscious yes. mind that we are not even aware of. Yeah. So it, it can come out while talking to someone. That person can see it. Yes. And see it. Yes. So, so you see, this is, but this is very, very, very deep uh, concepts. These really deep concepts, and and you know it doesn't uh, we don't really uh, realize the depth of this uh, whole thing uh, instantly it's uh, you have to really make sure uh, that you have to keep this awareness uh, alive uh, as much as possible and that's that's the only effort uh, we have to make is to be that's the first step the first step is to keep uh, aware to keep alive, to keep your awareness awake, because uh, otherwise you are just on an autopilot and you will be doing everything in life just to avoid things which are uh, hitting your blockages. Because you see, uh, there is a flow of life. You know, there is different names in different languages. There is uh, in Hindi, I think in India, it's a Shakti, the flow of Shakti. Uh, in, in China, I think it's the flow of Qi. But it's uh, the concept of uh, life force energy is uh, internationally, uh, generally people understand. I mean, obviously there are people who don't think that there is anything, you know, of any energy. They, they, they're so caught into 
their uh, minds. Uh, but uh, let's say mo many people will agree that there is some type of uh, energy, something, you know, life has something. Now, more deep spiritual teachings will explain that we all have this energy flow through us all the time. If you are dead, only, only when this energy flow stops, you, are, you, are, you leave this body and then, then you, you, you go somewhere else. But as long as you have this uh, physical costume and your heart is beating and you are breathing, your lungs, everything, you know, the, the, the body is functioning, you have this flow of this energy. But now, because of these millions and billions of all kinds of blockages which we have created, we, you see, the, uh, it's, it's another concept would be the subconscious mind. Uh, you know, we create all kinds of uh, terminologies, but actually subconscious mind is something which we have created from all these events which uh, we couldn't handle and we actually stored them inside or it's like a, it, it, it's as if it's a, we made the time the uh, the event uh, uh, frozen in time and we kept it inside so that's like these blockages they are inside but not only not only um, unpleasant events it's also uh, on the same time is also the pleasant things which we could not we did not want them to end but again nothing can uh, last forever even the most uh, beautiful uh, friendships the most uh, you know you were in school maybe beautiful class friends you had and you did so you had good time you had uh, some cat or dog uh, you really enjoyed but nothing lasts. You see, uh, you, you might have had the best time, but then anything what, what has a beginning also has end. So we also try to hold on to good things which are equally uh, detrimental because they also become like blockages when you keep these uh, things like, like uh, uh, events frozen in time whether good or bad, it's actually the, it's, it's equally uh, <laughs> detrimental. It's not only about bad things, but also anything good. If we did not let these things to pass, uh, you know, let's say in the morning you go out and you see, I mean, I live by the sea and sometimes it's amazing, amazing sunrise. So beautiful, but uh, it doesn't last. How long does it last? You know, if you stand, uh, you know, let's say 7.58, the sunrise, so the sun starts, you know, the colors start uh, showing up at maybe 7.45, more, 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 more than beautiful pinks and all kinds of uh, shades of reds and, you know, amazing, so beautiful. But how long does it last? So 7.58, the sun starts coming. But then after half an hour, the sun is already quite high up. So all these colors and all that, that's gone. So you, you cannot hold on to. So it's like this in, in life. If we, you cannot hold on anything, no matter how long these pleasant things uh, last. They might last for years, but they might last like a sunrise, just a very short time. And this is one of the biggest things which really we need to, uh, again, this is, connected with being aware and awake that the more we are able to understand that nothing in this universe can stay in one place nothing everything is changing every single atom of this uh, universe of this life is constantly moving constantly so and that's one of the biggest secrets of life when we really uh, understand the body, including your body, how much your body is changing all the time. You know, you know the blood, the oxygen comes in, uh, you know, there is constantly, the, the molecule, everything is changing. You know, they say how much uh, our skin, uh, like uh, actually your physical um, elements of your body are not anymore what, let's say, 10 years ago you had, com there's not a single uh, molecule in your body what you had 10 years ago not a single so so 
but you still you think it's me because it's the consciousness which is me not not, not the physical body and that's uh, one of the biggest uh, enjoyments uh, in life that we understand that everything is changing everything is moving and to be uh, in this middle of all of this without clinging and without resisting that's the biggest the biggest uh, lessons and and that's where this relax and recharge comes in so relax means so let, you're, yes clinging is like attachment you're saying don't be attached to anything yes because we you see you see people want uh, they want uh, things you know before covid let's say covid happened People all remember how life was before. But life will never be like before COVID. You see, every, everything in, in life, people want something what's not anymore. And that's one of the biggest lessons to learn is that everything is changing. Every single thing is changing all the time. In my life, in the whole world, in the whole universe. And the more you keep this awareness, the more you will be able to learn how to enjoy this uh, life, uh, this changing uh, life. But obviously, uh, fully we will, able be, we will be able to enjoy every single moment when we get rid of all the stuff which we have stored. And that stuff, we have quite a lot. There is a lot of stuff. Mm. There is a lot and lot How and do we lot. Get rid of it? So, so all this stuff inside. Uh, the thing is, I, I'll give you a very interesting concept. Do like, you have any any audio on that to work on the level of subconscious mind? Yes, I will. I will share. Uh, I mean, oh, as I say. Do. We might have to have another session because, uh, as I say, I've never really shared. This is the first time I'm actually sharing this type of content uh, to anyone. And, uh, you know, when I was planning to do this as a public, uh, for public, uh, I, I was not sure. So that's why I sort of, yeah, this is maybe a little bit trying to, because there are no it's quite deep I'm, I must admit this stuff is is really deep and uh, not everyone actually will really be interested or even grasp uh, these things um, so so the thing is life is so wonderful life is so beautiful and so helping it's it has so much love for us so every single event in my life from morning till evening every single thing happening in my life is actually trying to liberate me from all this rubbish uh, which is inside me so actually you know the things which are happening in my life is trying to liberate me but we don't understand and we take things uh, you know in a negative way we we see someone is uh, you know i don't like someone actually no the more you feel whatever you feel let's say unpleasant inside it means it's you see if you if you have a, a cork you know when people do uh, uh, fishing you know you have this uh, plunger plunger above this uh, water now if you pull it inside the water if you release it it comes up uh, so in the same way, all the stuff which we have by our sheer will, you see, that's what I'm saying. Only human beings, animals don't do that. They don't know how to do that. But as human beings, we have been able to, by sheer will, we have stored so much of this stuff inside. But all this stuff wants to come out. They but, are coming out, yeah. But, They've been coming but, out. You, you have to remember that there is so much of that stuff. If it all came out, you would go crazy. You would uh, go mad. You would, you would I mean, it, it would not be possible to handle if everything came out. You, you, you would just explode. <laughs> it, it, it's, so that's why, again, it's the, it's the beauty of life, the love. Life has so much love for us. 
That's why every single event, every day happening in our life is like a... So yes, so where I finished is that uh, actually every single event in life from morning till evening is trying to help me, to liberate me. And so if we are keeping the awareness awake, if we, if we are, our consciousness is awake, we will try to make effort to see life in that way and we will not resist, we will be letting the ropes go, which means you are not going to react to things. See, when we react to things, but obviously nothing will happen e immediately. So that's why, you know, uh, don't think that everything will, you know, like, like this and I'm, you know, now, yeah, I'm awake and I'm aware and, I, and you know, from tomorrow on everything is, you know, just got coming out. It can't happen like that instantly. So you have to start with smaller things, but the more you keep your awake, uh, uh, consciousness awake, that's why you have to also listen to things um, of this type of uh, content. Uh, because in most of the things in life, what people talk, the news, uh, I mean, everything is basically a lot of rubbish. I mean, uh, a lot of stuff, what you're being taught, maybe what you were taught, uh, even lots of uh, spiritual or new age things are a lot about how to achieve things, how to do this, how to change, how to blah, 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 blah. But very few, very, very, very few will actually show you how to liberate yourself and let this energy. Because actually, let's say, why, let's say people, uh, you know, law of attraction. You know, there was this uh, the secret. You know, that movie, the Bob Proctor. I mean, lots of people. You know, lots of things like this. People, you know, you you imagine what you want and the dream job or bucket lists and. Why, let's say you, why do you want to achieve, let's say, you know, to get lots of money or to build a house or to have some, some super, uh, you know, holiday around the planet. Actually, if you look deeply why people want what they want, they, they want this flow of energy. Right. See, that's, that's all they want. People want to enjoy and experience this bliss. They will do all kinds of things, not realizing that actually that's all inside you. It has nothing to do with outside, nothing. It has nothing to do with the body. It has nothing to do with the place you live, the country you live, how much in your bank you have, how, what car you have. It has nothing to do with anything of that at all. It all has to do with what's going on, how much your consciousness is open and awake. And the more you learn how to release these things, and this is where this relaxation thing, as I say, it's not relaxation, which is understood like, uh, you know, some kind of a, yeah, it, it also includes physically relaxing, but there is a more deeper, context uh, of this relax and recharge so that's why every th single thing in life from morning till evening and this is you have to do it yourself no one else can do it for you you have to do it yourself you wake up in the morning and you open the window and it's gray sky many people have well it's a gray day or you know maybe it's raining you look at the temperature it's or oh, it's really chilly and cold so you know it's there is some unpleasant thing uh, maybe associated there is some blockage even with the weather yeah you know it's it's uh, beyond even uh, you know understanding how much we are even small, small things make us miserable because they hit so many things inside we have stored and they are so uh, petty, you know, really petty things make us miserable. So that's why the, 
the number one thing to start with is the, is these petty things you know you are maybe you go to the bank and um, there is a queue suddenly you know you, you, you and how how many people enjoy and just you know life is you know you you, you enjoy that time you stand there uh, you're in a blissful state no most people there sort of if someone goes in front they get really agitated they watch the clock or the, the, you know so this is where a anything in life happening uh, which makes us uncomfortable and unpleasant this is where you have to learn to just relax let the ropes go relax relax let it go <laughs> and see the bigger picture why you know you know even uh, you know That's even not... even let's say you know a queue in the bank i mean i mean how many things had to happen for that queue to be there or sometimes you go to the post office and there is no one but actually if you if you zoom out and you know let's say you have maybe eight people in front of you if you knew exactly where these people were f yesterday month ago there are millions of events why on this particular day at this time when you went to the bank or post office they were standing there this is spiritual knowledge when you zoom out but we don't most people they just like autopilot you know something is not going the way you know something hits uh, the way they don't like uh, they feel not not very pleasant small things you know it's it's not even like uh, let alone someone going for you or some unpleasant thing like some big accident happening or you see the bigger things we can handle when we can handle small things so that's why we do have to learn with every single day being aware you know what what i'm thinking about every single thing in my life in in my job you know what the other people what they say and not to react because people say things to you nothing to do with you and this we don't this most people don't realize that uh, what people are actually doing has nothing to do with you we think that they do something because of me, but actually, even if they are, uh, you know, swearing, telling you off, it actually has nothing to do with you. If it was someone else who was uh, doing that role, what that person who is swearing at you, uh, another person might be praising you because their life experience would be completely different whereas that person had so many things if you again zoom out where that person comes from it happens now in front of you that this person is swearing but it has actually nothing to do with you i mean this is really deep this it's like you know uh, you know it's it's like and it's very easy to take things personal if someone gets angry with you and well that's why that's why there, you yeah that's why there is so much uh, depression and so much mental illness because people take everything very very personal and they think that the whole universe is just the thing in front of them that's the universe it is nothing <laughs> even as we discussed earlier even this body has nothing to do with you okay you are enjoying it just like uh, sunshine and the wind blowing in the same way you you breathe you know the body forces you to breathe try to stop breathing you can't it will do it its life yes you, obviously in the kitchen what you put in the mouth and swallow i mean it will have some consequences and obviously you will have to uh, you know the body will be doing something to deal with the things you put inside but uh, in bigger picture actually has nothing to do with you it's it's in the same way like uh, let's say now uh, you know there is some you know some you know in australia some beach somewhere there is uh, some you know people swimming there you say well, why are you telling me about these people somewhere in australia by, by some beach you know where I, uh, you know 
Yeah, it has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with me, but in the same way, <laughs> you know, any anything happening in your life is like that. It has actually nothing to do with you. It's not, don't take anything personal. And the more you uh, really start understanding that life is so miraculously intrinsic and <laughs> mysteriously beautiful, because it's happening, it's just happening, it's all... It's like you, you do what you want, it's happening. It's it's happening and it's going, it's 2024. Now it's six, what is it, 15th of December, uh, you know, tomorrow is 70. I mean, it's like the life is just moving. You can't stop anything. But when you enjoy every moment and you let it be and let other people, let them swear, let them do what they want. Obviously, you know, if uh, someone physically, uh, you know, is uh, doing some harm to you, it's, I, I'm not saying that you let them, you know, do and you don't do anything. I don't mean that. But uh, if, uh, you know, people do strange things, you see, let them do what they want. It's like you cannot change. You see, the biggest problem is people want everything in life to be the way they think things should be. It will never ever be. It, it's it's like it, it, the, the possibility of, you know, how small possibility is that things will happen and uh, will take place uh, the way you think it should take place in your head, what you have made up. I would say um, the possibility is so small that if you put uh, 0 0.0000 from Earth to the Moon, so many zeros, it's, uh, it's impossible. That's why just relax and enjoy. Let the things come out and uh, we will deal more with this uh, stuff, uh, releasing this stuff from within. I've got some things I've been practicing which is probably pretty uh, very very I would say um, yeah very very it's uh, that's a completely different uh, conversation actually about releasing uh, your inner rubbish and uh, you know how to speed up this release of the rubbish from inside because the more release you have the more you get stuff uh, out the more the flow of the energy the more you will start enjoying every single you will see things which you even the smallest things even the you know the the wind the way the wind blows that the birds fly or anything makes you so aware which you before might not even even you, you you would never even see and now it makes you so happy so blissful it's it's just beyond what we can even describe and uh, obviously i'm not saying i'm free i i, I have lots of stuff but uh, i can see the process i'm going through myself the things are coming out and and it actually even this process of liberating yourself could be very very beautiful it's very very interesting uh, it's like watching movies i tell you it's like watching movies but you have to really learn to relax and not do anything not to freak out not to because we all have all kinds of things which have happened and uh, once they're gone they're gone and that's when uh, you know you can start enjoying life even uh, yeah. on a spiritual path People suffer for years and years, and there is no need. And and that would be because we are holding on to things and resisting things. Well, but I wouldn't say don't... I wouldn't say that deliberately anyone is holding on or resisting, but because, as I said, the whole way human beings are taught or. I don't know, geared, uh, the way we grow up, the whole society, the way it's uh, made up, is the whole way human beings are taught or uh, 
I don't know, geared uh, the way we grow up, the whole society, the way it's uh, made up, is that we don't know how how to get things, uh, you know, pass pass through, and uh, we hold in so much stuff inside, and uh, you do need some uh, understanding how to get how to let go these things. They want to come out, but uh, they, we are so powerful, human beings so powerful that we don't let them go. You know, the, the plunger comes up and uh, events happen which uh, want to liberate us from some, we still push it back. So that's and why this relaxing uh, is uh, the thing that when anything comes up, we, we have to learn to relax and and to learn to actually th let things uh, leave us. Let go and flow. Yeah. Otherwise it's like this river with the trees that's blocked. Yes. What's happened to us inside? Uh, but the thing... How can I say? For me, in childhood, I suffered from so much anxiety. And... Uh, and that has been coming so much late, like who wants to come out, you know? And and I think that's part of the thyroid issue. And it's it can be like an attack as well. Uh, but but now I see this is a blockage. Uh, I can I relate to that wood in the river. Can relate to everything you're saying how why the energy doesn't flow because of childhood traumas and violence and and i suppress it all but this is what's coming out now well i've got probably maybe another session meeting we can have and uh, uh, i can share specifically more around uh, health and well-being and so probably it's now already you know uh, probably plenty time we've spent uh, this evening uh, what now yeah so so i think next time if if you have time uh, we can uh, meet and i, I can share uh, quite practical things uh, how you can actually um, help your health and well-being. I don't want to claim to heal yourself. I don't want to put any labels, but um, I would say you could uh, uh, heal yourself. Yeah. But I don't want to claim, I don't want to sort of put any labels, but um, uh, lots of uh, things which uh, I've been uh, doing and practicing, I think that could be very, very uh, healing uh for anyone but as i said very few will will do it very very few will do it i mean it's, i mean very few will uh, grasp uh, these concepts and uh, even if you grasp uh, very few who will actually do something and then uh, how much we do how much we keep the awareness awake that's uh, again that's up to us and how much we <laughs> how much we do actually uh you know it's doable it is doable but you know sometimes we need a bit of a holding hand yes doesn't yes. happen overnight uh, yeah. because because we've also had a lot of rubbish like you said inside now you know to follow instructions you need someone to guide you until yeah. you can you can really start to to walk and run and do things on your own but you know, whenever you used to send me audio before, I was listening to it. Mm -hmm. Every day I was doing it. And even I sent to a few friends, I sent to my dad, till today he's doing your audio. Okay. So um, he, when I went to see him, he was playing it in the night. Okay. He sleeps with it. Yeah. I have a plan to make some uh, meditations, uh, like a sort of maybe a bit longer type of meditations uh, which can help to keep this type of awareness uh, 
um, but I will let you know once uh, I've done any any of those. Uh, but actually, for now, if you just keep just observe, you see that being being awake means you 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 see things and you are awake uh, of what's happening and so any uh, just just observe yourself when when you feel something unpleasant you feel you know when, when you meet when you go to wh whatever in life just just observe and maybe even make some notes uh, you know you feel uh, because you see we really have to understand why things are happening uh, you see like let's say you had uh, i will give you some small example let's say you you have eaten some uh, bad food maybe it was some uh, you know old food some something was not right with the food and you really have now bad tummy you feel ah oh, my tummy is aching you know so you're looking for some uh, so you're looking at home for some uh, you know tablets something to help you to relieve the pain now you have uh, some friend uh, comes to your home and um, they say what's what's going on oh I, I i'm looking i can't find these tablets you know <laughs> but actually you understand the problem is not that you can't find the tablets the problem is that you've eaten something wrong and you have the stomach problem so in the same way you know we really have to observe ourselves and and not to think you know you you need to understand why things are happening the way they are happening uh it, it's not about uh, the tablets uh, it, it's about what uh, that stuff is inside what makes you <laughs> why you are feeling what you're feeling you know otherwise people it's just patching up you know most people are just patching up patching up patching up patching up you know doing this doing that uh, the whole life is like uh, just uh, trying to navigate uh, to avoid things and uh, so that you know you don't have these stomach troubles but uh, just start eating healthy food you will uh, i'm not talking about some kind of uh, nutritional <laughs> healthy food i'm talking about understanding the laws of life so the more you start uh, eating healthy food in your mind uh, you know you will not need tablets you will not need this uh, patching and you will not need uh, these tablets to help you relieve the pain or anything because you are not uh, doing anything uh, what makes you have the pain so that's what you, know. you need the right type of thought isn't it you need yeah. to so observing sharing the mind yes yeah so i just uh, observe yourself uh you know when you feel uh, you know why you feel the way you feel because normally uh if if everything if the energy is flowing you feel really joyful we have lots of energy you know people say oh, i have no energy energy is actually always at all times uh, it's everywhere and it's at all times. There is no thing like no energy. Uh, the only thing is because of uh, all this rubbish inside and the energy is not flowing properly, we feel tired and we feel, I'm not talking about not, we, yeah, we have to sleep. I mean, I'm not talking about that, but in general, like even daytime, sometimes we feel, you know, uh, low uh, not very happy, not joyful. I'm talking about this type of uh, because of the blocks and stuff. Uh, we and just to observe what is, you know, just to understand, you know, why is this the weather or people or someone or whatever, you know, it's just to to be more awake and aware of uh, what is actually going on, even before you start doing any releasing or you know any sort of practices. Uh, just being awake and aware of uh, yourself, of your state of mind. And uh, yeah, just uh, relaxing and not doing and not really reacting to things. Um, and and letting, and, I mean, we'll do some more practices. And as I say, I'll, I'll get some yeah. meditations. Uh, we can make some uh, to so help. To help release what? You said you, you managed to release lots of them. 
there's blockages. Well, and the thing is, what I want to share next time is something I don't want to say anything right now, but it's, uh, I would say it's uh, quite uh, revolutionary stuff. The same, because they don't want to do what you're doing. And they are happy to go on Ayurvedic, on allopathy and, you know. But that's uh, all part of the game. I would say it's part of the beauty of life. Whatever is happening is, uh, I will share next time. I will share because now I don't, if I start, I will not stop, you know. But uh, mm -hmm. even even what you were sharing now, that uh, what people do and why and how, how you, how we see, it, how do you see it, that can also make you blissful. Well, I, I think it's very nice. So I say good night and uh, all night. the best and enjoy, enjoy your time and just uh, awake and see how you see tomorrow morning and uh, just pay more attention, you know, you know, during the day and maybe make some notes uh, w what you are experiencing. Uh, yeah, it's it, it, maybe one day we can uh, like share a little bit of some experiences you are going through and how you are seeing things because then we can get more into perspective especially when there are some event some specific things or situations or scenarios or something then you know it's more easy to uh, like an examples to explore and uh, to, to understand more how and what and how, how do we do this relax <laughs> and recharge yeah we'll